Hello friends, good morning. Welcome, 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 welcome to kindergarten today. Hello and welcome, hey there, hi there, ho there. I'm so glad you're here joining us, following along, tuning in, ready for another exciting adventure in kindergarten. That sounded better than I thought it would in my head. I sounded better in my head than I thought it would a lot. All right, so it is time for our reading block. So we have our big book of knowledge ready for today's um, phonemic awareness, and then we will move on to our story. This week we're talking about um, ways to move. So like our story yesterday, Jonathan and Mommy, I think that's what it was called, and how he was moving different ways through our story. He was hopping, jumping, skipping, dancing, and all of those things. So today is going to be another story similar to that. Same, same, but different. Different, but same, same. <laughs> But before we can get to that, we're going to do some more onset and rhyme and a little bit of first sound practice. Like those are test is coming up. So, oh, I just got to like double check this makeup before I like record for you guys. So I look my best, but all right. So I'm going to say um, the word in two parts and your job is to blend the sounds together and tell me the word. Ready? Listen. V and. What is the word? Van. Van. Very good. Now I will say, um, I will say the word in two parts, and you tell me the word. Listen. Ul ok. Ul ok. Your turn. Lock. Very good. W n. W n when w n when f ish f ish your turn ready f ish fish Last one, um, um, your turn, um, hum, very good, I know, confusing, but we got through it together, so I can blend sounds to make words, all right, oh, and then we were going to do some first sounds, so my job is to identify the first sound in a word. So I will say a word, you tell me the first sound that you hear. Are you ready? Van. Van. Lock. Ul. Win. W. Fish. F sat. S kiss. Hum. <sighs> Excellent. I can identify the first sound in a word. Very good. Okay. So, like I mentioned before, um, this week we're talking about ways to move. Yesterday's story, Jonathan and Mommy uh, talked about the different ways that they move when they go on their walk. So, today we have a story that's same, same, but different. Different, same, same. And it's called Move by Steve Jenkins and Robin Page. So the title is the name of the book. And it tells us what the story is about. So what do we think our story is about? Put your thinking cap on one time. Hmm. I think it's about moving, right? And then um, Steve Jenkins and Robin Page. So the author writes the story and the illustrator draws the picture. So it looks like Stephen and Robin might have both written the story and drawn the pictures together. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, like now do you see all these animals? Okay. Oops. Oh dear. This is 
just gonna just knock right over. Okay. Animals move in different ways. A gibbon swings through jungle trees. And it says swing. Or walks on two back legs. Walk. So how does a gibbon move? He swings from tree to tree or he walks with his two back legs. Oh dear. A hakana? Jakana? A hakana? Really? Seriously? Walks on floating lily pads. So this bird walks on floating lily pads. Look at the feet on that thing. Whoa. I don't think I've ever seen that bird ever in my life. That's insane. Then dives in to catch a fish. There it is. A blue whale dives deep, deep, deep. So how are the, the monkey and the bird similar? Because they both can walk, right? And how are they different? Yep, the gibbon has arms, the monkey has arms, the bird has wings, the bird has those huge feet, and the monkey has feet, but not that huge. The monkey swings from tree to tree, and the bird can dive into the water. And then we have this giant blue whale dives deep, 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 and swims below the ocean waves. Swim! An armadillo swims across a stream. And then, when startled, leaps straight up. Leap! A crocodile leaps to snag its meal. So how do the armadillo and crocodile move in the same way? They both can what? They both can leap. So he leaps when he's startled, and he can leap out of the water to, to get his uh, meal. After slithering silently into the water, a snake slithers through rustling leaves. Slither. Oh, this is not baby that big. So how does the crocodile go into the water? It slithers silently, right? And when it catches its food, it leaps and makes a big splash. Oops. And climb, sorry, the snake. So we said a snake slithers through rustling leaves, slither, and climbs up into a tree. Climb! Um, so what have we learned about how animals move? They can move in more than one way, right? Like the snake can slither and climb. A praying mantis climbs on a blade of grass. And then spreads its wings and flies. Fly! A roadrunner flies, but not too far. So can a roadrunner fly far? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I just wanted you to see me. Can a roadrunner fly far? No. And how do we know that? Because the book says a roadrunner flies, but not too far, right? It would rather run to catch its prey. Run! An arctic hare runs across the ground. So how does a roadrunner like to catch its, its prey? By running. See? Yikes. Wouldn't want to be that guy.
then, oops, is this still, yep, an arctic hare runs across the ground, then dances and tumbles with its mate. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> A jumping spider dances to impress. Dance! So I just read about the jumping spider dancing to impress, and then I can make a picture in my mind of a dancing spider kind of jumping to impress. How does the spider move? It dances. And why does it dance? To impress. That's right. Then it floats away on a thread of silk. Float. A polar bear floats in dark, icy water. So how are the spider and polar bear moving the same way? They are both what? Floating. What does the spider float through? It floats through the air and the polar bear floats in water. That's right. And slides down a snow covered hill. A penguin slides splash into the sea. Slide. and waddles with its colony. Waddle. Animals move in different ways. Waddle, slide, float, dance, run, fly, climb, slither, leap, swim, dive, walk, swing. How about you? Move! I feel like we could do all of those. We could waddle, we could slide down the slide, we could float in the pool, we can dance, we can run. I guess flying, we can't really fly, so. We can climb, we can slither, kind of. Sneak, slither. Leap, swim, dive, walk, swing. We could swing on swing, so really we just can't fly. Hmm. Oh, and then here are all the animals. That's a lot of text that I will not be getting through. If you would like to pause it and have your grown up read it, now's your chance. Here's the other page. All right. What a wonderful story talking about the way animals move. Yesterday we talked about how Jonathan and his mommy moved, and now it's about how animals move. So I'm still working. I think there's a seesaw assignment. Don't quote me on that, but check seesaw, see if there's something there. If there is, go ahead and get started. Otherwise, I'll see you in a bit for our next video and assignment, okay? So work hard, do your best, be creative, don't give up, be nice, make good choices, and I will see you soon, all right? Hey, thank you so much for joining us, following along and tuning in. It's such a pleasure to have you. Just love and miss you so much. And I'll see you later. Bye.